The Indian electric scooter and electric two-wheel industry is rapidly rising to become a powerhouse in the Indian two-wheeler segment in the coming decade. There is a large support by the government to support electric two-wheelers to reduce vehicle emissions and India's oil import bills. Here is a very interesting Pune-based startup called Tech Electra and they've been researching electric two-wheelers for a few years now. They have in a very short span of time established a very spot, strong presence with a very interesting lineup of scooters. Mr. Prakash Bhutra is the founder of Teco Electra, who created the company in Jan 2018. And within a short span of time, the country, company has 60 dealers all around the country. This is impressive for a young startup. So, uh, Teco Electra is a Pune based company, primarily into assembling of two, uh, two wheelers, electric two wheelers. Um, uh, we are primarily having three different models right now uh, Neo, Raptor, and Emerge, having different configurations, different powers, and different aesthetic looks. We also plan to get into the other segment of two wheelers and uh, probably build up on that. Uh, so basically this was during one of my China visits when I saw the kind of penetration that uh, China has done into two wheelers. Uh, look, apart from uh, cutting down on fossil fuels and you know uh, reducing the pollution, uh, we find that uh, electric two wheelers is a uh, it is giving a competitive a benchmark edge to the existing IC uh, two wheelers, not just in terms of uh, entry points, entry price barriers, but also over a period of time. We find this a very exciting opportunity to build upon. So in a short span of time, the Teco Electra team has formed a very strong dealer network of more than 60 plus dealerships all over India. This shows that they are very interested in doing work rather than running after media coverage. We spoke to Mr. Prakash at his office in Pune to find out a little bit more about the dealership network. Um, we already have 60 plus dealerships across the country, spread across 40 different cities, uh, uh, right from uh, Assam on the northeast to uh, Ajmer on the northwest, Maharashtra of course, MP down south, uh, part of Lucknow, uh, that's the mid of India, uh, Vijayawada uh, on the south of southern part of the country. Uh, we're building upon Tamil Nadu and Kerala, which would eventually start pretty soon. Um, our focus has been on dealerships and serving the dealers uh, uh, timely. We have a complete module, we are building upon our systems, uh, enabling IT systems to, to be able to uh, drive and ensure that the dealers are served very properly. And it's not just the dealers, but also the end customers. We are building upon robust uh, systems to uh, get the same in line. Well, to start with, we have a very comprehensive and robust uh, dealer training module where uh, specialists uh, train our dealers. So anybody, any, any dealer, once he is signed up, he is supposed to come to Pune, uh, supposed to come to the head office here basically. We have a complete technical training, a sales training as well. This uh, uh, gives him a complete, along with their people, it's not just a dealer, but a dealer along with his team has to come here, which comprises one or two people. This gives them a complete idea about what the vehicle is, what the product is, and if, uh, how to address the problems, the commonly um, generated problems. Uh, apart from this, uh, we ensure that the dealers are stocked uh, completely even in terms of parts. So whenever our sales happen, the first sales, there's a reasonable number of stocks that are sent, the parts that are sent to dealers, these are generally needed parts. This ensures that if at all there's a breakdown of any consumer, then the dealer already has um, sufficient parts with him and there's no firefighting and running around at the last minute. So the consumer should not be facing any challenges. So uh, these are the kind of things that we do. As I said, we have an ID system, so we have a robust mechanism to understand and figure out what parts come under warranty and authenticate, authenticate uh, the same. So uh, this, this, this cuts down the time in terms of our response time uh, to serve the dealer, which really fits the bill. So Prakash, that's really good to hear. And very often from a lot of our community, mem community members, we get feedback that some dealers are giving them very good service and other dealers are not giving them good service. So is there some way in which customers can interact directly with the company and which will ensure that the customers are not left in the lurch? Sure, so what we have been doing is that uh, initially uh, when we started, we have also been sending our own people, our own team right. to the end customers as and when it was required in case the dealer was not able to serve. Eventually, learning, learning process, we have started training the dealers very exhaustively and they themselves are equipped uh, with, with greater knowledge and technical knowledge about the product to be able to address the queries. Correct. Coming to a specific question that what if some dealers leave them in lurch? Well, we are trying to build upon dealerships and we have a new dealership out there who also acts as a service uh, 
um, point and he gives a service to the uh, to the specific consumers having said this we are also having the erp system already deployed a part of a major part of it which is already completed this would have a dashboard up to the dealers also where dealers would be able to track uh, complaints online and they'd be able to find out what really fits in the warranty what does not and how things have to, this would how things have to be replaced or changed this would help us really uh, bring down the uh, bring down the uh, response time uh, to the consumer teco electra launched their first model the raptor in april 2018 after many months of research and careful vendor selection in china so we launched our first product in april 2019 uh, 2018 that was raptor um, this model has been very widely been accepted by the market it's a robust model which gives you good speed and a sturdy model a, a, a good height payload carrying capacity of almost 200 to 220 kg which is one of the highest in the segment post the launch we realized that there were some teething issues uh, some of the rural parts of the country where there are large fluctuations of uh, electricity uh, uh, gave us problem in the charging and uh, chargers but as a company um, we were very very quick to react to this when the when the problem uh, came from different segments we realized that okay there's a problem with the part and we were very quick to uh, change the chargers we ensured that we have new chargers which were far more localized which have a capacity to bear the fluctuations that the country or some parts of the country um, uh, it, it comes across so the teco electra team has procured batteries both lead acid and lithium ion from one of the largest battery manufacturers in china called tianning at the moment as we know that batteries are generally procured from um, out of india so are we doing we doing it from china from one of the largest manufacturers of the world the batteries are performing exceedingly well while we have a era certification of almost 107 kilometers we are pleased to inform that we are getting a range of 120 to 125 kilometers also from several parts of the country which has been more than making us more than happy we would prefer to under promise and over deliver and uh, happy with that So Prakash things are actually changing in the Indian scenario you've got the government tying in make in india with the fame to to subsidy and uh, how how is techo electra adapting to this uh Yeah. So uh, what uh, what we have been doing is we have already been doing our R&D and already uh, in terms of localizing several parts uh, like wiring harness, shock absorbers, uh, uh, and many many of the other other things. Uh, some of the components still are being imported because we don't have a robust system here in in the country as yet to manufacture them. So we, so so that is being done. As far as batteries are concerned, yes. So we we eventually have plans to put up our own um, battery assembly unit. Right. Cells, of course, we'd have to get them from out of India. We don't have the reserves uh, for the inputs to uh, assemble the cells. But this is what we plan to do, and we have to have a make in India, which will ensure that we uh, comply with the localize as much as possible. Right. Absolutely. Yes. Sounds good. Uh, just to uh, continue, Prakash, uh, does that also mean that you're going to have many high-speed variants? Needless to say, I think that would be the need right. of the R. That's the consumer needs, so along with the fame too. They would be high speed to the well. yes all right guys so look forward to that with me is akanksha from techo electra she is the head of marketing and sales and akanksha i see that there is a very interesting lineup uh, a lot of thought seems to have gone into the design of these scooters uh, we've got uh, a lead acid version called the raptor and the neo i believe and uh, we've also got a lithium ion one yeah. which is the emerge and they are very brightly colored uh, a lot of thought has gone into the details of this so can you tell me a little bit about the features that these have sure so we are a tech savvy company and we've been working on you know improving our models according to the market demands and customer needs hmm. every day so these models have been carefully designed as per the market needs so we have like a neo which is for the segment who wants a base category and they travel a very calculative distance we right. have a uh, raptor who right. uh, you know for the segment who actually wants to travel a very longer distance and a powerful okay. bike and then we have emerge people right. who want to move on the latest technology they want a portable bike Lithium staying in yeah. apartments so we have moved uh, we have emerge for them where we have like lithium ion uh, battery in that it's a awesome. portable one uh, talking about the features so these have like unique features like we have a usb charging port so people can charge their mobile phones while riding we have a reverse switch which is like another unique uh, feature of a bike so we have that in raptor and emerge uh, so this is like a usually we uh, you know uh, ladies and all they face issues while you know taking out the bike in a parking and also we've given a reverse switch for that specially 
we have an on-off switch particularly because you know these bikes are such they're very silent you don't understand when they are on so we've given that as a safety feature wherein you know if you just turn off your bike your entire motor will get shut down and the bike wouldn't move ahead okay. we are also exploring a lot of technologies and you know other features such as you know a mobile interface with a bike where you'll be able to lock unlock uh, your uh, scooters through mobile you can track your scooters you can uh, modify the speed so these are this is already you know under testing i can say and probably will be implemented in a while sounds good yeah so kanksha i would love to go for a ride on this scooter of course you can all right which one would you like to try let's yeah. go guys Tecolectra has a factory in Chakan area in Pune. They manufacture and assemble components here. They have a team which is in charge of production and a team well versed in battery testing electronics. So we have a factory at Chakan uh, where the current installed capacity is 60,000 units. We can manufacture 60,000 units per annum. Uh, we have a very robust mechanism where a lot of R&D uh, of several parts, batteries keeps happening in uh, the factory as well as the office. As we realize that this is a very fast changing world and things are really changing. batteries etc there was lithium was lead acid lithium ion we have lithium phosphate and and many of them is still undergoing tests uh, we realized that we need to be um, completely aware and our eyes open to the uh, external ecosystem about what's 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 being developed so that we are uh, one of the first uh, first movers to adapt the same we were interested to know about techo electra's sales and expansion strategy this is what they had to say to us So at Teco, uh, right from the beginning, uh, we have we have had a very focused strategy to expand the market, getting closer to the customers by uh, putting dealers in place uh, from from the, from the northern part of the eastern market to the southern market. So have, we have reached now 60 dealers, and we plan to take it to 150. The dealers are growing both vertically and horizontally. So the hub and spoke model, which we follow, one dealer is given additionally also to cater to, and. Uh, the journey has been very exciting we we the, the, the capacity of production which is at around 60000 units we we plan to achieve it very soon and we want the the sales to be around say 1000 vehicles per dealer and also during the sales process uh, to make it easier for the customer to own our vehicles we have done a lot of good finance tie ups so the, the banks nbfcs they 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 have been working very closely with us by giving very flexible products to the end consumer finally setting up a vehicle manufacturing unit and a r&d team is a capital intensive process we wanted to know how are techo electra funded and is the company on track to meet the revenue goals uh, we are currently a zero debt company uh, a positive cash flow company and uh, we we plan to end this year at a revenue of almost 35 crore plus the next year this this could go to up to around 100 150 crores etc and this all is being internally funded at the same time we are very clearly aware uh, that we need to be ready for the uh, bigger bigger game we are evo- evaluating our um, options in terms of tying up uh, uh, with a larger company we also have several expression of interest from uh, several investors hnis Uh, these all are being evaluated and try to see what suits best to us in terms of growth we are extremely impressed by the team at techo electra and look forward to their products also the team has been focusing on ground work rather than getting media coverage they are also working on localization of their products we wish the team the best of luck